My name is Pam Wainer and I am the director of the Physical Therapist Assistant Program at Bishop State Community College. The Physical Therapist Assistant is an extension of the Physical Therapist. The Physical Therapist Assistant carries out delegated interventions that have been assigned by the Physical Therapist. This could include gait training, transfer training, modalities, data collection which could be muscle testing or goniometry. They also are allowed to perform patient related instruction. The physical therapist assistant um, works with patients throughout the lifespan in multiple practice settings and is able to treat a variety of patient diagnoses. Physical therapist assistants can be employed in hospitals, in inpatient rehabilitation facilities, outpatient clinics, the public school system, private practice, home health, and there are even opportunities for traveling physical therapists. Because the physical therapist assistant program is able to be completed in five semesters, we often um, admit students that are here for a career change. Because of this, the average age of the physical therapist assistant is slightly higher than that of the new entry-level college applicant. This field is, is attractive because of the salaries that can be generated. The salary ranges are very good for a two-year degree. A majority of the physical therapist assistant programs are located in either junior colleges or community colleges. The programs are designed so that a student that has finished high school who is ready to begin college level courses is able to complete the physical therapist assistant curriculum in five semesters. There are two different types of physical therapist assistant education programs. The first is called an integrated program where the students may be taking their general education courses along with their physical therapist assistant courses at the same time. The other method of education is the One Plus program where the general education courses are completed prior to entering the physical therapist assistant program. When we talk about general education courses, we're talking about courses such as English, math, psychology, biology, speech, and a humanities credit. Once in the physical therapist assistant curriculum, we have classes that are traditional classroom classes and then there are laboratory experiences where the skills that are performed in the clinic are learned and then every school is required to have components of clinical education where the student actually goes to a clinical site, has a clinical supervisor and practices those skills on real patients. The students usually are not so fortunate to have real patients when they're learning the skills, but for the laboratory experiences, they will learn the skill in the lab and then have a practical or a skills checkoff where one of the students or one of the teachers may be the simulated patient for the student to do those skills. When we talk about some of the skills in the laboratory is really the fun part of the program. In addition to teaching people how to walk again, the physical therapist assistant may practice in the lab skills such as wheelchair mobility or methods that the clinicians use to reduce pain. This could involve learning how to place a hot pack or a cold pack on an extremity 
to reduce the pain and increase blood flow. Using electrical stimulation on a patient, again, to either control the pain. E-STEM can be used to increase muscle strength. So there are a variety of methods and techniques that can be used with each intervention performed. Uh, some schools are very fortunate to be able to do aquatics in their physical therapist assistant program, but the lab is where all of the major skills that are used in the clinic in any setting are taught. Once a student has graduated from their physical therapist assistant program, they must sit for a licensure exam in a majority of the states to be able to practice clinically. Advancement for the physical therapist assistant um, recently has become the advanced recognition provided by the American Physical Therapy Association. Most students who enter the program feel that what we do as clinicians look very, very easy and that it is a very easy profession. What they do not see is the clinical decision making that goes on prior to the physical therapist assistant providing a delegated treatment to the patient. Prospective students in the field of physical therapy and physical therapist assistant specifically have to have a commitment to the profession. You have got to enjoy working with patients, patients who are not going to be feeling well, who may yell out at you because they are in pain. And all of this just kind of has to roll off your back like water on a duck. You have to realize um, that what we do, we use palpation skills, we know where the muscles are, and our sole job is to help that patient get better as quickly as possible. Sometimes students come to us and say, well, I was very, very young when I took those courses, and so I didn't do a good job. Well, my advice to you would be to start strong. C's are not the best grade that you can get. You need to take your math and science courses very, very up seriously and make as high a grades as you can. The field is very competitive, and normally applicants are chosen by their grade point averages in the math and science, as well as their overall GPA. If the physical therapist assistant is something you would think you would like to do, then I would suggest that you get some volunteer time in various clinical setting um, areas. This is so you will see the types of patients, um, the interventions that are performed in that setting so that you know before you commit to the program that this is really what you would like to do. As stated in the beginning, the physical therapist assistant curriculum can be completed in five semesters. The American Physical Therapy Association is the representative body for physical therapy. I would strongly suggest that you go to that website and it will list schools for both the PT and the PTA and give you information about what physical therapists and physical therapist assistants do. That website is www.apta.org.